Hello guys, in this video I will show you Gemini CLI in action with my own experience. And this is one of the trendy CLI AI editors alongside Cloud Code and OpenAI Codex and Gemini CLI is one of them. But probably the biggest reason for people to try Gemini CLI out is that it's powered by Gemini models with this usage formula. Basically free of charge, 60 model requests per minute, not per day and per day it's 1000 requests. So it's basically free. And since it's powered by pretty powerful Gemini 2.5 Pro with 1 million token context window, it sounds like a no brainer to try at least, right? And I have tried. And the results of my experiment kind of showed the same thing that I was reading about Gemini CLI generally on Twitter or Reddit. There's a reason why it is free. Let me show you. So I will launch Gemini CLI inside of my cursor, just like that. Gemini, and I will prompt the usual prompt that I make in many of my videos. So I have a project to manage tasks and to choose a user for the task. And I want to change the relationship from one to many to many to many. So I would be able to pick multiple users. And this is the prompt, four lines of the prompt, but it touches quite a lot of files. This is why I use it for testing various IDEs and models and let's see what Gemini does in this case. Okay after 15 seconds it asks to run the migration and I can choose whether to allow execution of PHP which I will not because it's not PHP artisan make it's any PHP which I don't approve so I allow only once it will generate the migration file as you can see it appears here on the left in the git history. Now it writes the code for the migration. And in this case, let's allow always allow all the changes to the files. It's not that I'm allowing PHP artisan or PHP running commands. I'm allowing the code changes, which looks okay. So up method in the migration, creating task user pivot table, and then transforming the old data to insert into that new table looks pretty good to me. Now it's updating the model with user ID and revising the relationships. And by the way, it doesn't bring me the list of to do items. I just see what is doing the last thing. So read file for form requests. Okay, now it implemented the changes. So they appeared here on the left again. So let me show all of them. So form requests are now updated and controller. Now it's going to change the blade files. So these are the changes in the blade files. There's X forms select with array now. Now it's asking to run the migration. We will allow only once the migration is successful and now confirming task completion everything is successful. And yeah, that's it. The task is done. And now if we refresh the page of task edit, we refresh. And although Gemini seems to finish the task, we have regular parse error of PHP. And it comes from user model. And if we open that file, let's close the terminal for now. This line doesn't make any sense. Return with this it's just a syntax error. So it replaced the task from has many to belongs to many, but it didn't delete the has many. If we just open that file regularly without working tree, it's just obviously wrong. Although Gemini claims that the task is completed. And similar things actually happened to me with Gemini CLI in multiple cases. It's kind of doing the right things with good plan file by file. So it's on the right direction, but the final result results are either not fully correct with like obvious errors or even worse a few times before shooting this video I just got API errors from Gemini. I've made a screenshots of two examples of that so in the middle of doing the thing API error model stream ended with some log in JSON. So that was one case and then another case I screenshotted I'll update the task model and then in the middle of that API error. I'm not sure if it's the error in Gemini CLI or the error in Gemini API in the model. But anyway, during all of my cases and testing attempts, none of them was successful. 
I tried the same prompt four times. And ironically, the only time it actually got to the end was in this video, during shooting this video. So there was no API error. Maybe it felt something that I'm shooting video for YouTube. So it kind of completed the task, but generated incorrect file with parse error, as you saw a minute ago. So yeah, this is where I get back to that pricing. 60 requests per minute, 1k requests per day this is all good and fine if it was actually useful so i see a lot of people trying gemini cli because it's free but i also see people reporting a lot of things like it doesn't work properly sometimes it does maybe you're lucky but from my experience and from what i've been reading it's totally unreliable so if you don't have any budget and you want to experiment with AI and maybe wait for it to work in your case or maybe work on smaller tasks with bigger probability of success rate, that's fine. But if you want more reliable generating of code by AI, I would not recommend Gemini CLI at the moment. What do you guys think? Maybe your experience is different and maybe I'm wrong here. Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want to get the latest news about AI coding and tools and upgrades and versions, I'm doing that every Wednesday. So subscribe to my free newsletter. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.